Hey guys, what's going on? And I thought that this week or today I will be going over something pretty cool that I added to my uh, Call of Duty Zombies server 1.14 that hasn't come out yet. <laughs> uh, I posted the beta a long time ago, said it would come out soon, but then I just got caught up in making it 1.14 and it's like a billion times better now. But I thought I would go over some things from it that I thought were cool. So here we have a... Uh, a DS, like, uh, this is my gun by walls, alright? Um, now I can get one of these guns. Now, the cool thing about this, uh, ignore the gun itself, uh, but is, if I go here, it says weapon stats. Damage 60, fire rate 1 per click, headshot bonus 150%, reload time 30 seconds. Now, if I go over here, I get one like here, and it has different stuff. 20, 9 per click, 150%, reload time 14. And now, you could hard code these, right? But it's probably that that would take you a really long time if you wanted to try hard coding that that would take you probably i don't know a couple hours so to fix this to make it faster um so i don't have to type in all of these stats for everything uh, what i did was i basically have it automated so you have a dynamic stat showing system so we're going to go here and uh Let's just go ahead and get into making it. So the first thing you have to do is let's just give ourselves some stuff just to test this. All right. So let's work with uh, some things. So first off, what you can do is you can use data modify blo uh, block X, Y, Z, right? So we can, if we have an item right here, let's just do diamond sword, right? And then let's go display lore test one and test two so this is what you'll have to do before you get the dynamic part uh one more there we go so this goes here so then what we do is we put it inside oh the lore didn't exactly work because i'm in 1.14 this uh this technique only works in 1.14 so you also need to have uh mbt proper format 1.14 so you just got to make it mbt like that all right so that will give me the item with the test lore okay and don't worry about formatting it it doesn't need to look fancy at all so that will give me that now what i uh, you would want to do is give it to them and then add the stuff on it but you can't because you can't uh modify players string stuff you can't use data modify uh with this player right here uh that doesn't matter point is you can't use data modify with the player because uh unless you're doing like numbers uh, which i've gone over before in execute store you can store numbers but you can't store anything else so the trick to get around it is to put it in a shulker box all right so once it's in the shulker box uh they you're able to modify it so let's go data modify block right there now we have to get the tar target path. So we use data get block to find the path. So we're going to path our way to it. So we're going to go items. Now we're in here. Then we're going to have to go at zero for the zeroth position item. Then we will have to go to dots tag dot display dot lore and the first line of lore. All right. So this will give us a path to mess with. So we go data modify that then we go set from block and now we're going to set it from something else so let's go ahead and put a sign up here and call it uh demo all right so we're going to set it from this block and we are going to get information from that block so data get block right there and then we will want to go to text one and that gives me this string that says demo with formatting code on it. Uh, and you know what? Let's go ahead and spice it up a little bit. Let's make it light blue. All right. So this will give me this information that I need. So if I come back to this data modify thing, add it to the very end. Now we know what path to get. So when I did this, it basically took whatever was in here, took the first line of lore, and put the first line of the sign on it. If I look in here, it says demo, just like that. Uh, now, one thing is this, um, adding the colored paint to it is not going to actually change the MBT. 
<laughs> I forget that sometimes, but uh, it's not going to change the MBT. This just changes the actual physical in-game objects information. So if I made multiple lines, they would all be the same color, but it doesn't change the MBT. So if you want to change the MBT, you're going to have to use uh, like a generator, which we'll get to eventually. But we put demo instead of test one on the sword. So that is going to be another piece of code that will be useful. So we'll put that down there. So we got one code. Uh, now, how are we going to get it in this shulker box? So let's go ahead and put the, sh the, the sword in the shulker box instead of give. So let's go replace item block. Uh, container dot zero, and then let's just take that and put it here in front instead of give. We will do that. So now this will force it to go inside. So if I do this, uh, first I'll do this one first, and we have test one, test two, and then if I do that, then we have demo. Cool. So we grab demo, right? So now we need to get it back to the player, and this is where the really weird part comes in there is a there will be a link in the description to the original file from phi uh phi is something i don't know he just goes by phi um i will admit i don't know exactly oh, what's going on here but you're gonna need to like i don't understand the entire file and i didn't take any time to go through it because i just needed it real quick so i just go into the data then i go into here and here and then here so then this is the file that you'll get and you just put it in the same directory right uh, now this file is really long. Uh, I will have a link to mine in the description, but really there was just a line of code that he had. And I just removed that line because I don't really care too much about uh, specifying. Because the way this is supposed to be is if you have a specific tool that has a specific MBT on it, when you get rid of one of these, then what will happen is only the stuff inside will pop out, but the stuff out of the actual thing will not. So that's what this is used for. So when I use this, it will give me whatever's inside. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go loot, and I'll use replace my uh, weapon.mainhand, and I will loot, and this is where I will loot... Uh, Sorry, I will mine that. Uh, yeah, and I will mine that. So that will give me it directly to my hand. So that's just the next line of code that will basically give me whatever is in there into my main hand. Now you can make it go to different places by changing this line here, but that's the really tricky part that, uh, that I had to look up and ask for some help to find the actual file for it uh, that somebody luck luckily made already. Um, but yeah, so that's the real trick to it. Put it in there change the information uh what did this do oh that did nothing <laughs> all right three then three all right and get it back oh and get it back all right there we go so that all works now the only intermediate step you're going to need is uh one really two more steps so first you would need to make this uh, stuff appear right so i'll do set that to be shulker box just like that and then I would want to use a generator so um, I could use a generator or I can jump into here and get into my dynamic lore function which already has stuff I'll go over how this works um, but let me just grab this stuff this line right here uh, but it uses exactly this but then I'll just change the coordinates to be there so now you need to put the sign down that has what you want to say on it. Maybe it'll say attack, defense, or whatnot. All right, so that will set it. This will put that. And it says uh, fire rates, blank per click, uh, blank per tick. Uh, sorry, I have some selector things going on in here. Uh, I'll just take away the selectors. But I basically, the only way to grab the score is by first putting it on a uh, on a sign. And then what you do is you put it uh, from the sign onto the item. And then from the item into the hand. From the chest into the hand or whatever. Alright, let's delete this. And then the final one is over here somewhere. Alright, so now when I do that, so first I put it down. Then I put that down, 
then I go here, which puts that in there, then I go there, which puts damage 64 on there, and then I go there, which gives it to my hand. So this process is what you do, uh, and then lastly I will go, f I will clear that area. There we go. Sorry if it was a little bit boring, um, but that is all the process. So after we've tested our uh, line of things we want to happen, now we can hook them all up like this and uh, give it a go. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. And immediately get it and it's like it never existed. Uh, so that's really how this works. Really simple. Uh, well, not really simple, a bit, a bit complicated. There's a lot of things that you have that I had to search to work around, but now you have it all here in one place for you to do it yourself. Now let's go into the function file and see exactly what I have going on here. It's a little bit more complicated. Um, so I give a tag so that I know who is it, it's grabbing the scores for. That's why I have the tag here. So because the what I do is I set the I put the shulker box 157 in the sky. Then I put uh, 155 in the sky. Then I put the item. I get the uh, pre-made lore that I want on the item in the pre-made name. Uh, I could probably show you the steps that I go through. So this is what I do. So I set a. I put down a shulker box. Then I put the item I want into the shulker box that I want to be messed with. So here you see weapon stat, damage, fire rate, headshot, reload doesn't matter what I put on those I just need them there so that I can edit them then I put the sign down that will have my score values right then I take the I modify the shulker boxes lore at one position to have text at one lore at two text at two lore at three text at three lore at four text at four so this will change each lore line um, the other thing is if you want more then you're gonna need two signs uh, but you can do it. You can do more. So then what I do is I put it in the main hand uh, using this loot thing that I showed. Of course, there's some specific things that I have because sometimes I don't want it in the main hand. Uh, and then I reset it by changing those to air and removing the tags. Uh, the cool thing about this is if you run it in a function file like this, if I go function cod gun skins get lore. Uh, sorry. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. <laughs> if I do this and then I teleport myself up here, you will see there's nothing up here because everything gets placed and deleted in the exact same frame. So I can still get this lore. And if, if I drop it, it's not... If I drop it, then what it does is... Because uh, I have this whole... Oh, because I have this whole drop reload system like that. Uh, but when I drop it, it gives it back to me using the system as well. So I could be running, drop this thing. Now, if I go back up there, you will see there's no sign or shulker box in sight. Now, this would have been a problem with uh, if you used physical commands. You can only make this thing look, work seamlessly if you're using a function file. Because before the player is able to move, it deletes the uh, invisible block that you created there. Uh, which is just a really cool thing about function files. Uh, if you guys have anything else that you wanted to see, let me know in the description. Uh, in the freaking description, what am I saying? Uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, that's pretty much it for this one. I will have a link to an example function file that plays all these things like I showed here. And I will have my uh, example shulker box, uh, loot box thing. Uh, maybe I'll just make a data pack that you guys can download that has a demo of it, uh, and then I'll link the Fi, the Fi's uh, GitHub in the description as well. Uh, now this is again back to the time, uh, back to pretty much the same time as as any with my videos that I want to do now. So this is the uh, challenge section. So nobody did the challenge from last week, so I don't have anything to show. But the new challenge is going to be uh, basically make this dynamic system right, uh, make it so that what we're do what we <laughs> okay this is gonna be complicated make it so that the name has a dynamic name instead of dynamic lore change it to dynamic name and make the item have the name with the damage 
uh, displayed like a stone sword. Uh, one out of, I don't, I don't know, is it 67 that you're allowed on it? Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Let's give that P stone sword damage one. Uh, 131. Okay, so something that would basically do this onto the name of the item. And uh, if nobody does it, I'll just make a video on it because that's kind of cool. Um, or maybe I'll just make a data pack that does that to all your tools. Um, but yeah, try and make it as simple as possible. It'll basically do this to the name uh, for all your tools. Or maybe just one. If you can just do one, that's that's good. And uh, that, that's kind of cool. So I'll just have one simple, no easy or hard this week. Uh, try and do that. Other than that, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for today. I'll hopefully see you guys soon and uh, have some cool gameplay footage for you to show you uh, with some new maps and whatnot for this zombies. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.